Hi guys, my name is Crystal. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome old subscribers, welcome new. Where did that go? If you like my videos, please press the like button and please do subscribe. It's a lovely sunny day today. It is Thursday morning. The sunshine is out and it's very, very hot inside this flat. It's absolutely boiling. I feel hot. So I'm going to put the cold fan on, open some windows and enjoy and relax indoors. Because walking in this heat, is it can be quite harsh. Um, it's like we've got real summer weather now in May. Um, it is really hot. Is this global warming or is it the real sun? Because the heat is getting quite unbearable, isn't it? Especially for poor builders and that working in it. Alexa, good morning. Good morning. On this day in 1991, Helen Sharman became the first Briton in space after answering a radio advert for astronauts with no experience required. Sharman was chosen from 13,000 applicants, and after 18 months of training, she blasted off for the most memorable week of her life. Um, Alexa, famous birthdays. Today's famous birthdays include pop musician Luke Black, British actress Miriam Margulies, American comedian, writer, producer and actress Tina Fey, South Korean singer Young Bae Dong, and American country music singer, actor and music producer George Strait. Right, Alexa, what's the time? It's 10.02 a.m. Alexa, what's the date today? Today is Thursday the 18th of May. Alexa, what's the weather like? Currently, in Rochester it's 13 degrees Celsius with clear skies and sun. Today, you can expect clouds with a chance of showers, with a high of 16 degrees and a low of 5 degrees. And Alexa, can you tell me a joke? What do you call the world's tiniest violin? Hard to play. Like I said, it's Thursday morning, the sun is out, and I am giving myself a week of pure relaxation, rest, and I'm trying not to stress myself out or worry about anything, which is proving difficult because when it's like terrific heat, like it has been like a short mini heat wave over the last few days, the last two days especially, it can make you get up heated and stressed and angry over small things. Um, so I'm trying to like keep myself in a good mood. Um, I've spoken to my mum this morning. Um, I'm going through the menopause. And as the doctor asked me, uh, Reg, Reg did um, last week, are you getting symptoms of brain fog? which is like forgetting things, can't remembering where you've put things and stuff like that, and I am. So I had a brief conversation with my mum this morning. She phoned later than normal. And, um, you know, she said it's a lovely day. Well, if my mum wants to go out, I mean, she could ask Sue to drive her somewhere. Maybe Charlotte and Stuart can take her down by the river or something like that. But I haven't got a form of transport. And, and I'm just relaxing and resting indoors. Yesterday I had a lovely shower, which cooled me down. It's really, really hot. I am forgetting things. And when I have a day where I forget things, it's not a good idea for me to go out. Because I, I, the, other, the other week I left my umbrella somewhere. Lovely posh umbrella it was. It cost me £6 in Bernardo's. And we all have see films and jokes where people have left their umbrella behind. I left my umbrella behind somewhere. Decent umbrella it was. Not a cheap pound shop one. I've, I've just left my umbrella behind. And especially if you can't remember where you put it, you could spend hours going round and round in circles. So I'm just going to have to buy another one. So I'm going to make myself a cup of coffee. 
I'm, I'm going to take Max out for a walk and do what I usually do. Right? Yesterday I went out to the co-op. I bought myself my dinner. I had some cash on me, so I got myself a chili con carne and a yogurt. The cupboards are full of food. The fridge has got food. I'm going to enjoy myself. And, and I haven't got a lot of money today. And I'm going to go out and I'm just going to enjoy the sunshine and the nature. Take a few photographs and do what I normally do. Last night I started, you start, sometimes when you're on your own, right, you get fed up. You get periods where you get fed up. There's no one to talk to, right? There's no way to really go. And you start to get fed up, right? Fed up. So I was sat on my sofa last night and I put on Snatch, you know, Snatch, the DVD film Snatch, with Brad Pitt in it. And I started watching that. And I, you know, normally I'd sit and watch right through it, laugh, whatever. And I just got fed up. I turned it off and I just put the TV on and I watched this film called Flight with Denzel Washington in it, which was on the TV last night. Uh, Denzel Washington was a drunk and it was something about him flying a plane under the influence of drugs and drink and trying to get his name cleared or something. Um, there wasn't really much on the telly last night and like I said I watched a part of Snatch and that's quite horrific really when you think about it because Brad Pitt got his mum a caravan and then some criminals burnt the caravan with his mother in it. So why I put that on I don't know, I just, I just was running out of ideas of things to watch last night, I really was. So, um, my mum said to me when I was round there Monday, she said to me, I might, um, I might have you round again later on in the week because I don't feel well. That's what she told me. Now, Wednesday morning, there was a brief call, hello, Janestra. And then she went off. And then today, she said, hello, Janestra. She said she wasn't feeling well. And then she very very brief call and then she went off um, I'm not going out anywhere today I haven't got the money um, I, it doesn't mean I haven't got any money at all but I haven't got a great deal of money my, my father didn't leave me any money he left his money to his wife Jennifer right so I, I just have my, my benefit when it comes in and it's got to last two weeks and half of it's gone on bills. So you've got the water rates, you've got the council tax, you've got um, the internet. I pay for the internet. You've got your phone to, to keep topped up. And, and you've got uh, other, other bills coming in as well. So half of the benefit's gone. It's gone with the gas and electric on top of that. So what I've got at the moment, I've got to keep hold of because I've got a smart meter. And if that runs out, it, it turns my electric off, completely off. Which is what they were talking about on the news. You shouldn't have them, that they switch off your electric. Just switch it off. So, it were, if you're in credit, right, your electric's on. If you start to run out of credit, you put the emergency credit on, right? Usually it's £10. When that £10 is gone, it will turn your electricity off. It did New Year's Eve last year. It turned it off. And it's not a joke. It's not a joke. If my electricity goes off, if I lost the roof over my head, I would have nowhere to go. I would have to go. I, it's happened to me before in Gloucestershire. I went homeless. I was homeless for two and a half years. Right? If, if my electric, my gas runs out, I have to wait till I get paid next. 
people on benefits, I don't know, I get money every two weeks. And it's not a lot. And that money is, is to help me because I'm disabled with my pain and my disability. Right? That's what that's there for. Um, these smart meters, these meters pay as you go, yeah, are making people live in complete darkness. Only when your electricity, electricity is cut off, you cannot cook on a cooker. You cannot charge your mobile phone. You are fucked. And at the moment, the rate the electricity is going, I'm topping it up £20 every three days. Which is no joke. So no, I'm not going into town to do shopping. I've got no money. It's just, it is a lovely day. I've got a balcony. The sun's coming on the balcony. I'm right by the riverside, by the boats and the flowers. Why would I need... To go and buy coffees in Chatham, right? When I've got a perfectly decent balcony I can sit on and have a cup of tea. I don't want to keep spending money anyway, and I'm not a young woman. And it's quite frightening when you go out these days because people are angry, they're pushing and shoving. They're stealing out of shops because they can't afford to buy things. It's frightening just going down into, into the town centre for somebody on their own especially. Um, like I said, I'm going to take Max out for a walk and try and enjoy the rest of my day. But, you know, some people are playing mind games. Mind games. You know, I don't want to get... It's not other people's fault, the position I'm in. It's not people's outside fault when I haven't got much money, when I'm feeling depressed and low. I'm not going to take it out on other people. Neither am I going to advertise where I live or advertise other people when I'm living on a low income. I'm not going to uh, advertise other people. I'm on a low income. Alexa, Puzzler. Good morning. Welcome back to Puzzler. Would you like to play your daily crossword or hear the high scores? Daily crossword. All right, here is your crossword. Changed your address. Five letter word. That's what I'm going to do shortly. Alexa, next. Okay, we'll skip this clue. Small box for tea. It's a five letter word. Alexa, caddy. Bravo. Frenzied or overexcited. Last letter, C. Alexa, Alexa, manic. Let's hear the next clue. A sailor's marine. First letter. Alexa. M. Naval. You've completed half of the crossword. Okay, here's your next clue. Bright and strong. Color. Blank, blank. Alexa. Blank. Livid. Fabulous puzzling. Hold up, make late. Blank, blank. Alexa, blank. Delay. Fantastic. Here's the final clue. Change your address. Alexa, M. moved. Alexa, M. Yeah. Would you like to hear the high scores, open shop, or exit game? High scores. Would you like to hear the daily or premium high scores? Daily. You're currently 288 on the daily high scores, with a time of 1 minute, 4 seconds, 
243 milliseconds. You are zero seconds behind your nearest rival, lovingly helpful C-squirt. So, we're Would you like to hear the daily high scores again? Alexa, exit. So we're still behind C-squirt. Alexa, what is a C-squirt? According to an Alexa Hansen's contributor, C squared is the speed of light squared, which is 8.5. Alexa, what is a C squirt? A Sigisia, commonly known as the Ascidians or C squirts, is a paraphyletic class in the subphylum tunicator of sac like marine invertebrate filter feeders. Ascidians are characterized by a tough outer tunic made of a polysaccharide. Ascidians are found all over the world usually in shallow water with salinities over 2.5%. Right guys, that's something I didn't know. So it's Thursday, the sun is out, but um, again, I'm staying indoors. And I'm keeping safe. Uh, and I'm just resting. Um, enjoy the day, enjoy the sun, and I'll see you later.